Welcome viewers again in the channel. And as we are dealing with this part of written communication and the source that I would like to introduce at the very beginning that the whole material I have taken from this text, the introduction to undergraduate English book one, you can read, you can get it easily from the market. But our today's topic is definitely something else and that is the business communication part of business communication where these two parts are here written communication and verbal communication that we have already understood and in written communication there are five parts one is writing project field work report summarizing annual report a company writing minutes of a meeting electronic correspondence and number two is writing a report on business negotiations this number two is today's topic because the first one, writing a report of field work project report, we have already completed. So today we are going to deal with writing a report on business negotiations. And before that, we have to understand in the business communication, the field visit and business reports. What is a field visit and a business report? But there is no universal format of writing reports. And why? Because there are several reasons. The first one is that top level executives for example they require feasibility reports for big decisions like mergers acquisitions or expansion for example they are going to merge one big company is going to merge with another big company this, these are the mergers acquisitions so something that you really need you are in correspondence with someone or some companies and expansion of your company so this top level executives demand feasibility reports from these fields. Executives handling operations require monthly or quarterly reports on field work, sales activity, training or production. It is very natural. So the variety is again greater. Mandatory compliance reports need to be submitted to the government and other regulatory bodies and systematically a business therefore needs a variety of reports. To steer the multiple tasks that are being done by multiple people towards the common goal. So everyone has this common goal, but the, the variety of reports, the pattern of reports are different. In that case, field visit and business reports are different. And therefore, there is no universal format of writing reports because the variety is extensive. And naturally, because the varieties are different or varieties are various aspects, then you cannot expect that one particular type of pattern of writing a report is available already. The format of a report depends on the type of report, frequency, the audience for whom the report is intended. So this is very natural that you are going to write a report mentioning the audience or mentioning the people who are demanding these reports. So it depends on the type of the report. So the frequency of the reports, the audience or the people who are demanding it and whom the report is intended. So these are very important factors to write down a report. So this is the field visit and business reports all about. Now, naturally, field visit and business reports are three parts. There are field work, business concerns and business negotiations. Now, this th number three business negotiations, we are going to deal with this. As we can understand in business negotiations, we have to therefore go through in detail. Negotiation is a process where two or more parties discuss and try to garner, that means to collect support or resources from the other parties to achieve their goals. Now, this is very natural because through negotiation, one party can achieve the desired goal with the discussion uh, with the other parties. And the aim is to collect support or resources from the other parties to achieve their goals. For example, we negotiate at a store for a better deal, negotiate with the employer for a better salary. We negotiate with our faculty members for more time to do our project. Negotiation happens wherever there are two or more parties with conflicting interests. In a business context, all negotiations need to be documented for reference in future. So if this, that is not documented, then you cannot have a good idea or good example of business negotiations. So this is all about the negotiation. Do not mix with this negation and negotiation. These two terms are different. Negation is something that is explicitly negative, so that is something where there is a negative aspect. So that is the negation that we are doing it from the perspective of a no. But negotiation is a discussion 
and business negotiation suggests all of these matters because we negotiate to do a better project, to do, achieve a comprehensive goal or a better future. So this is uh, all about that business negotiations. Now here is a sample that business negotiation report template, business negotiation example. This is the whole one. KPG Institute of Engineering, Dr. Anisha Jha, 1 August 2018. Principal KPG Institute of Engineering, Madam, subject negotiation report on procurement of computer terminal. So this is a template. That means this is an example how to write a business negotiation. There are plenty of business negotiation template available in the internet. If you want, I can give you, I can provide you all of those. But here, the example taken from the book, how you are going to write, follow the root aspects like objective participants and authority, location and time, outcome of the negotiation, benefits obtained and concessions made. This is not a mandatory way that you should write business negotiations report in this way. You can do a lot more better and something you can literally add to it so that your business negotiation report may look lucrative. But this is a very basic and general performer a basic template to understand how to write a business negotiation. Just go through it and just remember for your convenience, I have already made it bolder, objective participants and authority location and time, etc, etc, and etc. So that you have a very comprehensive idea about this business negotiations. And this is an example. Naturally, the uh, you have in your mind what kind of questions may be asked. So these are the review questions that I have collected. Objective questions, two marks, five marks, and 10 marks is each one. What is the report? Uh, name some reports required by middle level and managers. What are the parts of field visit and business reports, etc. So these are very basic questions that you can find in this video. And the answers have already been given. Long answer questions, if you go to this, write a field report on any field trip that you have attended recently. You are part of the organizing committee for a cultural fest in college. Write a report to the college principal on negotiations held with the supply of audio and visual equipment like microphones, stand, stand monitor screen, speaker, lights, etc. needed for the event. So like this, this is again not a very mandatory idea or you have to just follow these questions. It is not like that. You can formulate questions like you need. So. The patterns will be different, systems will be different, but here the review questions may be significant for your purpose. So this is the little part of this video, this presentation, the business negotiations. If in your syllabus, the three parts will be available, then I have to go through all the three parts because you have only business negotiations part. Therefore, I have already completed this aspect in this video. And finally, thank you very much for watching this video till to the end. Stay blessed, stay healthy, and we will be coming again uh, with the third part of this installment very soon. Until then, have a good day all the time. Thank you.